Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today we're going to make a wardrobe that leads to a secret room. Today we're in Josh's basement. They've got a long room that they want to turn into two separate rooms. They want to have a guest bedroom up here and then keep the office on this back section. So we're going to build a wall right down the middle, but instead of a normal door, it's going to be a secret door. Josh is going to give us the plan. We're going to start this project by making a wall between the office and the front part of the room. It's a pretty standard wall. It's going to go under the ducting and it's going to have its own separate door. Rather than having a boring door, I want to cover it with a corner wardrobe. That wardrobe will look and function just like a normal wardrobe, but when you open it, you can push through the back wall into the office. Now that we have the plan, we've got our materials list, now we got to build a wall. I've got the small section of the wall that's going to go right here. So now we're just going to stand this thing up and slide it into place. We've got the two sections of the wall up and locked together. They're also tied into the joists above and the stud in the wall. So now we've got to tie them into the concrete. We've got all the framing in place, but before we put on the drywall, we actually need to put in a little bit of electrical stuff. So now we're gonna add the mortises for the hinges so that it can hinge off of this door plate. This is going to come out of the wall about right here, then there'll be a matching one that comes out right here. There'll be two doors, so it'll look like a wardrobe. And then on the inside, once those doors are open, we're going to have a frame right there, and then a frame around the door, so you can't quite tell where the door is. So we're going to start attaching these pieces together and stick them on the wall. We got the drywall put up on the outside of this wall and Josh is putting on the first coat of mud. Let's go talk about the other side of this wall and what's going to go in it. So on this side of the wall, we're going to actually put two sheets of drywall, 5 8 inch, and that should help soundproof this room a little bit. Before we put that drywall up, we've got to put some low voltage electronics to control the lock. On the inside of the wall, we're going to have that simple button to release and engage the lock, but out here, there's going to be a secret. There's going to be a floating shelf right here, and on top of that shelf is a little planter. Now, Josh came up with this cool design. On the bottom of the planter, there's some different shapes that, as they spin, will engage a micro switch. If I put it together here and turn it, you'll be able to hear it click. This will be sitting here. When you want to open the door, turn it a small turn. It'll unlock the door, and then you can go in. I'd also love to know if you learned something from this video, so please let us know down in the comments. We've got tons of other types of projects that you may be interested in. Check some of those out, and if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that as well. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.